told you in a couple videos that I've had a whole bunch of goodies from Makeup Forever sent to me, new product launches, and I wanted to just do one video on everything rather than break it all up. It is, well, I don't know. I haven't even opened this one box. I got like after Christmas, this one. I haven't opened it. But I did get some new, a lot of new lip products. So I'm gonna do some lip swatches and some arm swatches so you can see. They sent me their new Aqua Lip pencils, which I've worn these in a couple videos and I always link to it so you'll know. These are their new Artist Liquid Matte lipsticks, which I've also worn several times and I really like and I don't know how to get this one open, oh no. I love the little PR packaging, it's so cute. And then these are their Artist Acrylic Lip. These are really bright and colorful, so I'll probably swatch these on my arms. But these kind of go together with the lip liners. And let's open up this guy because I don't know what is in here. I can't believe it's taken me this long to open. I've, like I said, had this since after the holidays. It's like a post-Christmas gift. Okay. What is she? Sending New Star Lip Powder. A little sparkle for your holiday season. We're a little late. See you in 2017. Oh my goodness. Packaging is everything for me. Look how cute. So there's some... These are so cute, they're lollipops. Stop it, right now. Oh my God, Addie's gonna flip when I show her these. These are so cute. By Sweet Caroline Confections, and they're all different. Look at them, like sparkly lollipops. So cute. Okay, but the main thing here, oh my gosh, and one of these guys, one of these rocket confetti launchers. Okay, let's see. All that for this little product in here. Let's see, let's see. Two highlighting formulas catch the light with pure mother of pearl pigments, OMG. I am assuming you can use these as highlights or like um, on your eyes too, I think would be really pretty. Or maybe even in the center of your lip if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and swatch these. Get this guy off. Okay, first up we have number 12, which looks like a really pretty coppery amber color. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my hand. The sun just came out and it got super bright. It's really pretty. Next we have number 13, which is more of a champagne color. This is more of like an all over, my, my type of like all over lid color when you just wanna wash. This would also make a really pretty highlight for the cheeks. This is like rose gold, number 15. Oh yeah, that is pretty. That would even make a nice blush. They look like liquid, don't they? So shimmery. And then this one is number two, and then this one is more of uh, like a white platinum. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna look on the skin. So this is pretty yellow based. Depending on your skin tone, this would be a nice like eye brightener, eye opener on top of your lids. I don't know that I would wear this as a cheek highlight, but I think to open up your eyes as an all over lid color. The rose gold is definitely my favorite because you can use this on your eyes and your cheeks. And this one is gonna be awesome for the summertime for like a really pretty bronze eye. So those are these starlit powders and they are beautiful. They look like liquid. So pretty. Before I start swatching them, I just want to talk about them really quick because I have worn, been wearing a couple of these and what I can say right off the bat is the formula is not super thick but it is very long lasting and it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. It's almost like a thin 
texture consistency. It doesn't feel like it's sitting on your lips like you're wearing a lot of product. It has awesome staying power. You don't have to worry about it rubbing off. You can kiss your fingers like as soon as you put it on, it, it dries almost instantly and there's no color transfer and it feels good. It feels really weightless. You don't get the cracking on the inside of the mouth, which I so badly can't stand. Colors are pretty much opaque. Like what you see in the tube is exactly what transfers onto your lips, regardless of what your natural lip color is, which is always a good thing, especially when you can't be swatching all the shades in the store. I would definitely recommend these. I think they're a really, really good lip product. There's no surprises with them. There was really nothing to disappoint me about them. They are beautiful colors, and I think there's a shade in this line for everyone, even out of just these five that I have. There's a shade that each and every person in their skin tone would feel very comfortable and confident wearing. These are the shades. Most of them are nudes. You can see there's a couple colors in there and some brown, brownie nudes too. I'm going to swatch them all on my lips, but this is what the packaging looks like. The applicator is a doe foot applicator. And... I think I talked about this in the video, but I love that it doesn't pull out too much product, as you can see. There's not like heaps of product on the wand, which I really appreciate. Let's get into swatching them. Okay, we're starting out with number 203, and this is the shade that I've worn the most, actually. I think I've only worn this one and one other one, but I've worn this one in videos. It's a really pretty berry color. It's definitely the most purple that I would ever wear and feel comfortable wearing, but I would definitely describe it as more of a color than a nude for this collection. It's the brightest one out of all of them, and I really, really like it. Like uh, pinky purple definitely has some blue undertones. I think it leans more purple lilac, which is kind of crazy because I normally steer away from colors like that, but with this one, it, I just like it. I think it kind of works. So this next one is 109, and this one is, I would describe the Kylie, the Kylie Jenner lip. It's like that vintage mauve, like your lips but better. A very universally flattering wearable shade. And I have not worn this one yet, and I don't know why I haven't. It's beautiful. This is one of those colors that I just think really brightens up any facial features. Like, it just really brightened up my face right there. As you can see with me applying it, it definitely looked more in the shade range of my natural lip color, but I'd say a shade or two darker, deeper. I really thought that last one was my favorite, but I think this might actually be my favorite from the whole collection. This is beautiful, and I think this is a shade that any skin tone could pull off. Next up, this is a deeper, I'd say like brownish plum shade. This is 105. One thing I really appreciate about these and the packaging is when you take the applicator out, it doesn't take out globs of product. It almost puts out just enough, almost to where you might need to go back for one more little dip in the tube, but it puts out like just enough on your lips. And I appreciate that because you're not wasting product and like having all this excess. So this is pretty, but this is definitely not a shade I would typically reach for. It's a little too brown purple for me. I don't really think it does anything to my complexion. Kind of makes me feel a little lifeless, like sickly, but I think darker skin tones would really benefit from shades like this. Next up is 101, and I think this is the most nude of the collection. This almost looks a little peachy. Oh yeah, peachy. This shade reminds me of MAC Myth. It's a little too nude for me. It's a little too... Just too nude. Too bright nude. It's not a dark nude. It's definitely... It's not so bad. I'd say it's like a mix between MAC Creme de Nude and Myth. But this is also the shade that I think could easily settle into fine lines and show them. So... I would be careful about that just because it's it's almost like too bright to be it's like a very bright nude I don't know if I'm describing that right it's actually not so bad now that it's like kind of lasting on my lips but 
it's a, it's a color that I would be kind of self-conscious of because of the fine lines in my lips. But I definitely think lighter, sh lighter skin tones, blondes, colors like this look so good on. And the last one I have to swatch is number 107, and this is a brownie nude. This is the most brown toned, and I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. Let's see. Brown shades are so in right now. Um, not for me. Definitely not for me. Definitely for, I think, some darker skin tones. Uh, it almost is too brown, almost too muddy looking. Uh, I hope the lighting's okay. The, I don't have any lights in front of me. I'm just sitting in front of my window, and the light, the sun keeps like going in and out. I notice it in my viewfinder. But anyway... This isn't so bad. It's not a color that I feel uncomfortable wearing. I just think it's too flat for my complexion. But I definitely think darker skin tones this would look incredible on. I really don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's just out of like the norm for me to wear shades like this. It's just very brown. <laughs> okay, switching gears, we're gonna go into some very bright, beautiful colors. These are the Aqua Lip Pencils and the Artist Acrylic Lip Paints. They look like this. And each of the liners kind of has the corresponding lip paint to it. So I'm gonna swatch one of them on my lips so you can see, but the rest I'll do on my arm. There are nine shades, including this white one, which really is just clear. It's one of those anti-feathering. It's like an invisible barrier you can use with any lip product to prevent bleeding outside your lip line. Pencils retail for $19 a piece and the acrylic lip paints retail for $24 a piece and there are 10 of these shades. The colors do correspond but the numbers kind of don't so you kind of have to just like match it up and see what goes together. So I'm going to do a super bright, uh, like a hot pink. So this aqua lip is 16C. And I've actually worn some of these pencils in my videos alone without any lip paint or gloss or anything on top. They give off a crazy amount of color and without drying your lips out, they stay really well. So again, that is 16C. It is a very, very hot pink. And I'm gonna top, I'll go over top of it with 201, which is this really pretty bright pink. The applicator has a little cushion applicator. You push from the tube and some of the color disperses onto here and it's a little twist cap. So I'm gonna just give it a little squeeze. I do like the packaging because you can totally control how much comes out. And these aren't real liquidy. Categorize them more as a stain than like a lip gloss or pencil. I think paint is definitely a great way to describe them. So pretty. They feel really smooth on. I definitely would use some kind of liner with these just because the applicator isn't super precise, but um, you could always go with the invisible one if you don't want to do a color liner outside the lines, but I would definitely do something just to help you control where the color is going in your lips because I think with this applicator, you could tend to go outside the lines and kind of smudge. It's beautiful, really bright, vibrant pink. I'm going to still swatch that one on my arm so you can see it but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the pencils first there's really a shade here for whatever you're kind of into really pretty pinks corals this is another color I use a lot and I've worn in my videos this is 19 C okay this first shade is 20 C it's the most baby pink of the bunch it's a really nice neutral light pink that I think a lot of skin tones could pull off really well I definitely think blondes this would look awesome on but it wouldn't look bad on dark skin either then we have 18c which is just a really beautiful coral this is going to be a really great color for the summertime for just a coral nude and we have the most orange this is 17c 
and this is a true orange, also going to be a really pretty color for the summer. Next up we have 19C, which is kind of like a berry, like a mulberry wine color. This is a great color for now or fall, winter, but it's a really pretty wearable color. The closest I have of these to show you of in the red family is this one. This is number 8C and this is a good red. It's a red that a lot of skin tones will feel very comfortable wearing. It doesn't have too many blue undertones, not a lot of orange undertones. It's just a simple, it kind of reminds me of Cruella from NARS, that shade of red. It's really, it's really going to be an easy red for anyone to pull off. And we have the color I just put on my lips, 16C. This is a hot pink really pretty and getting into the deeper tones this one is 10c and this is a very deep kind of like berry wine finally the darkest this is 13c and it is a true kind of grape color also very pretty reminds me of mac rebel it's invisible but it helps the colors from bleeding and with colors this bright I think something like this is essential just to prevent the color fading and it's just makes it so that you don't have to worry so much about checking your lips every two seconds as you can see if I run my hands over them um, there's no smudging no smearing they are all intact and that's how they stay on your lips. So really great colors if you're looking for some colors to take on some vacations, some bright tropical vacations, or if you're just getting ready with your summer makeup wardrobe, these are really beautiful colors. I'm gonna try to kind of go in the same order that I did the pencils. I also wanna show you up close what the applicator looks like. It's like a little spongy guy. And when you give it a little push, see how the product comes out. So you definitely have total control over how much you're pushing out. I'll show you kind of how it applies. So it goes on pretty wet and then it dries down to a matte. Never understand Makeup Forever's <laughs> formula to how they name these colors. But this is 200 and then this is 301. And do the orange one next. More like a tomato-y orange. This is 202. I love this one, it's like a strawberry. This is the closest to red that I have. This is number 400. It's more of a, a red pink than a true red, but a very easy red to wear. This is the one on my lips. This is 201. Kind of like a little bit easier to wear than Mac Yum Yum. It's 401, getting into the wines. It's very 501, this is the deepest very deep but as you can see if you kind of blend it out it becomes less harsh two additional shades of which i didn't have corresponding liners this one is 500 and this one is 600 so i'm going to swatch these this one is like holy purple this is not a color i would wear but i know some people would love a color like this it is very bright purple this one is like a gray purple Again, not a color I would wear, but just wanted you to see it. <laughs> Those are all of the lip paint swatches. As you can see, very vibrant, much like the colors right on the packaging. The colors, while they do set on your lips, they do still have some moisture to them. They don't go completely matte like the ones I did in the nudes. So that's why I didn't rub my hands because they will smear, but they do leave behind a really nice stain. It's just not a color that dries completely, which I kind of like because it almost feels like a lip balm on your lips with color. So I really appreciate that. There's some instances where I want like a really dry matte lip, but with colors like this, if they were to be super matte and dry out on your lips, you have to just constantly be checking and aware. And that's why I kind of, with bright colors, that you can kind of still move around on your lips. I just appreciate it because it's just a little less maintenance, but they feel really good. They don't feel dry and they don't crease or crack. The color vibrancy is insane, so beautiful. And I think paired with the corresponding lip liner is definitely the way to go. If not, I would definitely grab one of these invisible liners. I know Too Faced makes one and e.l.f. also has one too. So it's just, it's just a good product to have um, for just any colors. I always, 
use one of those when I'm doing a red lip regardless of the brand it just helps me peace of mind not have to worry about the red bleeding outside of my lips so those are all of the acrylic lip paints I hope you guys enjoyed this massively swatched lip heavy product video from makeup forever these are all available at Sephora right now if you want to go check it out hopefully you can order online since you got a good look at how they look in person and on the lips if you guys have any other questions leave them below thank you so much to makeup forever for sending me these goodies and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I have been so obsessed, could not wait to tell you guys about this. This is the uh, First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer and